some polynomials grouping. I'm going to teach you three methods. So welcome to this video. This is video five, six. I never know <laughs> on factoring. Um, yeah, four term polynomials are the easiest. I'm gonna teach you my favorite method first and then I'm gonna teach you other methods and uh, yeah, get out a sheet of paper, practice on your own. If you like the first method, stop watching after it and stick to that method, okay? Um, and don't confuse yourself with the rest of them, okay? Sheet of paper out, ready to take some notes. Math with Miss B, math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching math with Miss B. All right, example number one. X cubed minus X squared minus 25, X plus 25. Okay, what you gonna do is you're gonna put each term inside a box, okay? X cubed minus X squared minus 25X and then 25, okay? You're going to look at the columns first, so the X cubed and then the negative 25X. And you're gonna find the GCF between just those first two, two in that first column. And the GCF is gonna be X, okay? Then you're gonna look at the next column, so negative X squared and then positive 25. You're gonna figure out what they have in common. They don't have anything in common. I have an x squared, negative x squared, and a 25. So you're gonna take out a one as your GCF, but you're gonna make it a negative one because that negative x squared. And then you're gonna look at your rows. So we're gonna look at the x cubed and the negative x squared, and the GCF there is going to be x squared. Um, and then you're gonna look at uh, the bottom row, and that's negative 25x, and then 25, the GCF there is gonna be a 25, but you're gonna go ahead and make it negative because that first number is negative. Anytime the first number is negative, that's when you make that GCF a negative, all right? Um, so then that's your answer, x minus one, and then x squared plus 25. That was easy, right? Okay, there, for this, oh, I forgot to put that, okay. So for this specific problem, there's an extra step on the back end, but um, not all problems will have an extra step on the back end. This is how you factor a four-term polynomial. Boom. Um, but because you are a factoring pro right now, you're going to recognize that that second, um, when you're looking at those binomials, you're going to re recognize that the orange one is actually the difference of two squares because x squared is a perfect square, 25 is a perfect square, and there's a minus in between them. So when there's a minus in between them, you know that that's the difference of two squares. So you're gonna go ahead and factor the difference of two squares because you recognize that because you know what you're doing. Um, and then so this would actually be the final answer. So not that big of a deal. Uh, that's your problem in a nutshell. Bada bing, ba da boom, okay? Um, I have x cubed minus two x squared minus nine x plus 18. Again, we're gonna put everyone in a box. I'm gonna find the GCF of my columns. So x cubed and then minus nine x. That's what I'm gonna find the GCF of. When I find that GCF, it's gonna be x, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna look at the negative two x squared and then the 18 and I'm gonna find my GCF and that's gonna be a two, but because that top number is negative, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a negative two. So then I'm gonna find the GCFs for the rows. Right, so x cubed and minus two x squared. So my GCF there is gonna be x squared. And then on the bottom row, I have negative nine x and then 18. Nine and 18 have a nine in common um, as the greatest common factor. They have three, but it's not the greatest common factor. And, uh, but that, that first number is a negative, so that means my GCF is gonna be a negative. So hey, look at us, x squared, um, x squared, x minus two, and then x squared minus nine. That was easy. But what you know is that you know that that x squared minus nine is actually the difference of two squares, right? Because x squared is a perfect square, nine is a perfect square, there's a minus in the middle to make it a difference. Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and factor that x minus three, x plus three, that's your final answer. I'm gonna let you try these next two on your own because that's important. So I don't think, I didn't put a timer on these. Shame on me, but um, I'm gonna give you a minute.
20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, time. Okay, so you're gonna put each term inside of a thing right there. And then when you do that, uh, you're gonna find the GCF of the top, of, or the, excuse me, the left side. Um, and that's gonna be N. And you're gonna find the GCF of the right side. So that's gonna be four. You're gonna find the GCF of the top row which is going to be 5n squared, and you're going to find the GCF of the bottom row, which is going to be negative 1. And so n plus 4, 5n squared minus 1. Yay! Now, the orange part in this case is not the difference of two squares because 5 is not a perfect square. So that's my final answer. I'm done. That's it. Imagine. Okay, um, I'm going to let you try this one on your own too. One minute. Twenty seconds. And time. Okay, so you're gonna put each term inside of their appropriate box. Um, you're gonna find the GCF of the left side. So that's gonna be two P. And then the right side, that's just gonna be a five. You're gonna find the GCF of the top row, that's gonna be P squared, and then the GCF of the bottom row, that's gonna be three, so two P plus five, and then P squared plus three. Uh, neither of these is the difference of two squares, so guess what? <laughs> that's your answer. Okay, that's method number two, um, is grouping. Notice there are four terms. Group the terms one and two. So that's terms one and two grouped. Group the terms three and four. Again, if you liked the first method, you just don't even watch this. And then you're going to put a plus in the middle, okay? Um, I'm going to find the GCF of the first two terms, which would be x squared. What's left is x minus one on the inside when I take out that GCF. Um, and then I'm going to find the GCF of the next two terms, and that's going to be negative 25. And guess what? I'm left with x minus 1. I know I am doing this method correctly because the inside of those parentheses both match. So then I factor out the pink because it has those, both terms have that in common. And then what's left is the x squared minus 25. And that's my answer. And just like last time, you check the binomials to see if they're the difference of two squares. And in this case, we already did this part for the first set of videos. Uh, x squared minus 25 is really x plus 5 and x minus 5, so that's your final answer. Okay? <laughs> Look at us. Okay. Um, same thing, we're going to group the first two terms. Boop, boop. We're going to group the second two terms. Boop, boop. And we're going to put a plus sign in the middle. Boop. We're going to factor out the GCF of the first two terms. So what do they have in common? It's going to be an x squared, baby. Um, and what's left is going to be an x minus 2. And then we're going to factor out, the uh, in the second set of terms, it's a minus 9, um, x minus 2. So I'm going to factor out the pink, or the red, magenta, whatever color that is. And then I'm going to figure out what's left, which is the orange, x squared minus 9. This, this way isn't bad either. Um, and some of you probably do this way for trinomials. Um, so it just depends. So anyway, uh, the binomial, the second one, x squared minus 9, we know that's the difference of two squares. So you just got to make sure that you continue factoring that completely. And you'll be good. Mm. 
I'm supposed to put my phone on do not disturb so nobody interrupts my videos okay um, I would say try these on your own if you want to try these on your own this method uh, what I suggest that you do is that you um, pause the video but I'm gonna do it because I don't want this video to be very long you know we had 12 minutes already 12 minutes okay so group the first two again pause the video if you want to try it on your own first group the second two put a plus sign in the middle factor out the GCF of the first two terms factor out the GCF of the second two terms if they match you know you're doing it right you factor out the matching part the pink what's left is the orange boom that's your answer no extra step because there's no difference in two squares okay um, same method we have one more method after this one uh -huh. plus so group the first two terms group the second two terms put a plus sign in the middle um, factor out the GCF of the first two terms factor out the GCF of the second two terms uh, make sure that the inside of the parentheses are matching that's how you know you're doing it right you factor out the matching part and then what's left is the orange part and that's your answer that was method two look at us last method again if you liked this method and you don't want to watch the next one bye uh, x cubed minus x squared minus 25 plus okay we're doing the same four problems and this just different okay so we're gonna take x cubed and then the second term negative x squared you're gonna put it on the bottom and you're gonna take x cubed again and then you're gonna put the third term on the bottom negative 25 X let me just say I have no idea why this method works <laughs> not a clue because you don't even include the last term in it I, I just I don't know I really don't know I'm sure somebody way smarter than me has figured it out uh, all I know is that it works every single time I'm gonna simplify this so X over negative one and then simplify the second one x squared over negative 25 and guess what that's my answer x minus 1 and x squared minus 25 I don't know why it works I just know that it works um, we know that x squared minus 25 minus 25 is the difference of two squares so literally the same slide like <laughs> I didn't even change it I just copied it hello um, okay notice that there are four terms we're gonna put one x cubed on top negative 2x squared on the bottom x cubed on top negative 9x on the bottom I don't know why it works simplify the fractions x over negative 2 x squared over negative 9 yep and then x squared minus 9 is the difference of 2 squared so I'm going to factor that, and I'm going to get x minus 2, and then x minus 3, x plus 3. <sighs> I don't know why it works. I don't know why. <laughs> Y'all should try these on your own. So if you're going to do that, pause the video, because I don't, I don't want to do the whole timer thing right now, because we're at 15 minutes for this video already. Um, yeah, set up them fractions, simplify them fractions. Um, that's your answer not the difference of two squares so that's it I don't got you nothing there that's my answer final answer okay last one pause the video it's not it's cool I'm not even talking through this what am I doing <laughs> set up the first two terms Set up the first term over the third term. Simplify the fractions. Those are your answers. That's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not sharing this stuff with your friends that are struggling also, get it together. Um, and go back through the video. See if you can do the examples without my help. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.